Hello Anna, um, I'm Leslie, I'm 71 years old and I live in Suffolk. First of all, I would like to say thank you for allowing or, or enabling us to have this opportunity to speak about what we feel is very important, um, but also what is happening for us and for everyone else. Um, my main focus, I think, for myself is um, I'm very concerned with two groups of people. One, um, people of my age and a lot older, and the very young. I am so concerned with both those groups of people. Um, first, I'll start on people of my age. Well, um, I think it's quite apparent that they really don't want us and their agenda is to get rid of us as quickly as possible. Um, why is that? Well, simple reason, we cost too much. Um, we have nothing to contribute to them. So we're excess to requirements, aren't we? And uh, they'll find a way of polishing us off while they're already doing it. But however, apart from that, um, they don't realise that we're very strong people. Very strong people. We've been through a lot in our lives. And we know how to cope with things. Given good health, given the right circumstances, we're very powerful. And then I focus on the very young, the tiny ones. Now, I have grandchildren and I've just had my first great-grandchild. And I fear very much for their future. I don't think at the moment they've got much of a future to look forward to. Um, not in the present circumstances. Uh, they've lost an awful lot this year in their education. Those that are at school and preschool. And not only that, they are actually being brought up this last five months, six months, in an atmosphere of fear. They see it outside, surrounding them all the time. For a certain amount of time, they haven't been even able to play with their own uh, friends. How do you explain that to a three-year-old? You know, how do you explain what's going on to them? How do you explain it to yourself? You know, this is a fundamental right of human nature is to be able to have contact with your fellow human being, to love them, hug them, kiss them, just be with them and your child, to cuddle and hold and hug your child, your grandchild. Do you know how many people haven't been able to do that? Why? Fear. Basically, it's fear. It's being afraid of something that's been put out there to psychologically unbalance us all. <laughs> totally. And they're doing a very good job of it with most people. Because, you see... Once you start to build on fear, it grows. It becomes a, an entity in its own right. It allows you to be controlled. It allows so many things that you don't want to happen, happen. And yet, you know what? You've got a simple way of stopping this. You see, let me explain. Fear. Why do we feel fear? Sometimes it's necessary for us to feel fear because it gives us protection when we need it. But other times we're feeling fear because we don't know 
what we're really afraid of or, or we can feel the undercurrent and we know it's coming for us well when that happens we take flight and when we take flight the most valuable part of ourselves the most valuable part of our defense closes down which is our immune system now if we just could stand still for a minute, drop the fear, stop stressing, just stay calm. And you know what? You start to build up the power within yourself, but more importantly, you start to put in action your own immune system. It starts to really work extremely well for you help it find out research find out what you can do to help yourself start at a very personal level find out how you can build up your own immune system plenty of good probiotics vitamin d fresh air try and get out in the fresh air learn something new something that's going to benefit you benefit those around you this is, this is a chance to do these sort of things.